so hello everyone my name is for Akadama Drive episode 9 and uh, yeah Swindler is getting uh, she's bad influence as you said last week she's speaking like them fighting like them god damn woman killing everyone around her um, I mean we saw the preview though right we saw the preview so uh, the doctor of course is like oh I will make a man out of you and then we saw in the preview she was really making a man out of him so Hoodlum is gonna get lucky right so I'm like that's what I'm here for yeah but it was like a you saw the, uh, the doctor's, you know, her her figure, right? Her figure, her assets. And I was like, yeah. He's gonna get lucky. Of course, the doctor is gonna, you know, teach her how to be a man. Well, she's really stray. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, like he's trying to betray them. You know, I'm, I mean, sure. That seems gonna be good. But Hoodlum is gonna team up and somehow betray the other ones. Right? He's a little bit right? They're trying to betray them, right? Um, and she's a traitor, so he's gonna also be a traitor. God damn it. Anyway, let's have a watch again. So, three, two, one, and go. After this, we're gonna watch uh, When They Cry, of course. Maybe put that, uh, less bright. Hmm. And Hack hasn't returned yet, but probably turns one day, right? Yeah. Hmm. I wonder how these two. I mean, did it seem to be a win or the executioner? Maybe it's something else. Did. Maybe they're like. I don't know. This is the first time I see them actually not just. Because before, these two things have been like, you know, explaining the rules or whatever right of the world, or lying about the world. But this is the first time they're like, oh, those guys stopped us from our broadcast kind of thing. So maybe they are actually someone, someone doing that stuff. Maybe that's hack or something. I don't know. Maybe there is something. That... I see that. Damn that swindler! She was in the middle of town. We must purge that swindler! I don't know why that guy is doing that thing because I feel like they, they can't really hate them so. What's this now? Oh, he's like some kind of. I don't know. Playroom. Yeah, the moon is destroyed. Maybe the opening, but the moon is destroyed. Again, I said last week, but I was like, if the moon is destroyed, then if the moon is destroyed. Can this only be a like war in Japan? Like, uh, you know? I'm just saying, right? It doesn't make any sense that the civil war in Japan would destroy the moon. It's like, what? Why would they even do that? Unless, of course, somehow the Japanese had like some kind of sit on, on the moon, but again, then wouldn't the other countries also have. I feel it's very hard to imagine in the future. Oh, Swindler's hair change. <gasps> oh, new opening change. Swindler's short hair. Oh my god. Oh my god, even Dr. Hoodloom. Oh my god, they're, they're, they're next to each other in the opening. It all makes sense now. They're gonna smash. I haven't thought of that before, but it's true. At first, it's you know Doctor doing that, and then it's Swindler. Huh? And then Hoodloom, I mean, Hoodloom, huh? So it actually makes sense now, think about that. Yeah, she's doing the whole, ooh, and then he appears like, yeah, so, <laughs> I guess, I guess the opening always uh, predicted them smashing, yeah, that's true. The opening always had that, um, yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> I haven't thought about it before, but it all comes together now. It all comes together, uh, yeah, in a, in a nice way, yeah, very interesting. Not getting food though, because I guess Curie has food. I guess he has food. Okay, he's a good chef and everything. We got House Bondo. Here we go. What is Sean? Look at them. They're like best sisters now. Oh my god. Got short hair uh, Curie though. What's happened? <laughs> I 
<laughs> got a safe house. I got like 50 guns in my safe house. Yeah, they're right. You gotta wonder why he's a bad guy, right? Because he seems to be quite a nice person, right? Like, why is he... Obsessed though with his uh, always delivering a bag or something. Yeah, you're an S rank Akudama. God, God damn it. What is Sean? <laughs> I like it, she's like, you're my big sister! I'm gonna mess with you, man! Yeah, what's Hacker Sound? He might return now that we need him. Let's kidnap some uh, cops, uh, maybe. Yes, we Akudama now. <laughs> She's just like, yep, Akudama now. Ah, there he's trying to find her, I guess, with one leg left, kinda. He lost both his legs though, and he's another second leg. Ah, I don't know, man. I don't know how he, how he, he can still be alive, even at all. So here we go. Here's the. He's gonna smash in. Get lucky, boy! With the evil. Yeah, there we go. Oof, the asset scene. Oh, she's got a lot of scars to court because she's like fixing him both all the time. Man, this feels. Yeah, this is weird. It's just like. Uh, Hoodlum gets lucky with. I just want to do it. Okay, I don't like it. I just want to do it. Okay. Exactly. You're quite immortal already, woman. Okay. What if she wants the the breast for? Okay, control. Maybe no one else can be immortal? Ah. Oh, she has to kind of crazy! I don't wanna kill everyone or something! She's got a mass plan to, I guess. But she released her like that one. Like, I want to kill everyone. I want to control everyone's life. Okay, but but yeah, but so if you get the immortality, you can kill everyone. Like, yeah, I don't know. I feel if you get the immortality, she would fight death though. But he's like, I put it in crazy. <laughs> Who did me? like, oh, uh, I did, I did crazy. She was way too crazy for this, yeah. She, he's giving her a whole lot of crazy hotness. He's like, oh shit, she's going way over crazy now. It was not worth it. Oh, I feel a bit. She's kind of Thanos planning. I want the, 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 or um, I guess more almost the uh, um, dark side. Yeah, I guess like dark side more. It's just like, I want the death equation, the life equation, death equation thing. Oh, she's probably like 500 years old, probably, right? She's probably lived through the Civil War, whatever happened. She must be a man! Oh! <laughs> might be a man! Do you see me as a woman? I only think I am! Oh, <laughs> this is some gender bender! <laughs> but she might be trolling him, though. She might just be trolling him, but I don't know, she's like... Uh, do you even think that I'm a woman? It's like, what? I mean, she would be that... Oh, it's happening. But isn't it like a random guy? Maybe it's not good. Maybe it's a criminal, though, but. Seems kind of strange to so just figure out older people. 
Who would you kill in there? Well, I guess this guy was an Akudama, like he wasn't one of the, you know, our Akudamas. Is this... I wonder if this is legal, like, are you allowed as a normal person to, you know, execute them? Like, is it legal to just take your laws in your own hands, right? But I uh, yeah, doctor is like, am I even a woman? <laughs> he really put me to crazy. He's like, I'm the death equation. And I'm not even a woman for that matter. It's like, get out of it. <laughs> it's like, yeah, man. My God, damn it. No, but it was, I really, even before that, she was, he was like, wait a minute. Who did I, who did I smash now? He, he, I mean, you can see the whole, he's like, wait a minute. Maybe I, maybe I shouldn't have done this right. And she's like, actually, I'm not even a woman. Maybe not. Like, what? And also for that matter, right, she might be really old. She might be really old. Like she, maybe she actually knows something about the truth, right? Because she, it wouldn't be surprising if she's like 500 years old, right? And it's like, oh, I lived through all the civil wars in the past of Japan or whatever. And I've been to other countries and so on. She might have, um, yeah, she might be from the, before the war century, I think. Who knows? Probably coming here now. He's very dangerous only having like one function of legs. Yeah, he's like, he's like, he's like slowly walking towards them. He's like, ah, come on, guys. Why wouldn't you shoot him? Well, I did die. He's very competent on having one leg. You could imagine that you could shoot him or something before he kind of slowly approaches them, but. Hmm. He's going straight for it, of course. He's red, that one. I guess they also do have police, but... Yeah, I guess they also have no more police, I guess. This is like the police station. Yeah, so they're killing everyone, I guess, with any kind of crime on them. But what do civilians stop being civilians if they are killing people? Yeah, it's like, it's hard to... You see, we kill the cop guy. It's like you failed as being a cop. I'm taking over. It sounds like it's a lot of her fault, but I guess she's gonna. <laughs> yeah, yeah, swindler. She's gonna <laughs> kill them all. Yeah, it's like I will get revenge. I suppose executioner boss is higher than police boss, right? Like she's probably a higher rank than him, clearly. It's kind of weird. Like, cause aren't she also a cop in a way, like a super cop? But I guess... <laughs> Why are they most cute for? Killing his man! <laughs> like a god! <laughs> let's go, let's go! <laughs> she just keeps... Yeah, she just keeps copying on Yeah, on is good! Yeah, on Let's go, on Now this, this is like a cute family, now look at this, it's a cute family. Oh, cutthroat. Whoa, it's a lot of red stuff there. Can only be one person that has been here, definitely. It's him. Yeah, oh, he's been being busy again, what the hell? He's been getting busy. He'd be getting really busy. He's incredibly competent, really, for like... Aren't they all, you know, some kind of super cops? And he's like injured, he's like really injured. Like, oh, I killed them all. Alone? 
This, this is no wonder they want to execute this guy. It's no wonder they want to kill this guy because he is quite. Uh... <laughs> we know <laughs> it took forever to stack them. It's like, oh my god, man. Or maybe she can do this. But yeah. Cutthroat is crazy. Yes. <laughs> He's so crazy. No, no, not like that. Oh, come on. Man, I would imagine he'd be so tired, though. I think I think Curia will. Well, actually, maybe Doctor will appear in Hootloop. They haven't appeared yet for a while. It goes bigger. Maybe actually, maybe it has some kind of red halo. You can see it. Like the more you kill, the stronger you get. Yeah, like it has a head halo over here, and it gets bigger and bigger. How do they just this... interesting? They actually seem to be able to track her by following this halo. It's like that's what halo was over there, so he could, he could find her. He might have some superpowers or something. I don't know, but he, he actually could find it right by. But man, it is freaky though. Oh. Man, it's so much censored. <laughs> yeah, so much blackness about it. Yeah, you can't. You can't. So much black bars. They can't even show that this It's like, it's black. It's black. It's going into the interspecies reviewer territory where he's like, oh, it's just a, a screen with blackness here. See, because now he's super slow again, because now he's like, yeah, now he's like, I'm gonna find you, yeah, now he's super slow because he can't run, so, it's just like, well, he can find her a halo, though, so, yeah, so he seems to actually have that power, right, actually, literally, he he's crazy, but he seems to actually be able to literally see where she's going, like, he seems to actually always be able to find her, which is like a weird thing, then, how that would work, but... Huh. He seems to actually be able to see her. But of course... Um, so this is like the worst place to go to then. Like a, a dead end, yeah, like a bathroom. This is really stupid of her. If he's, if he's saying the truth about the halo, right, this is really stupid as a cause horse. Here she can't escape, of course. He's not very fast. Whoa, it's going Yoni style. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, this is really, really stupid of her. It was really stupid because he can't, he can't always find her, but, like, he can, he's not very fast. <laughs> oh, the hacker ball, interesting. Maybe they can do something. Yeah, I can use the hacker ball to open that. <laughs> Shit guy! <laughs> Shit guy! <laughs> yeah, Unko guy! Okay, but she's finding maybe where the cop, where the execution, where the executioner woman is doing it, right? But maybe he can't open this door though. Because she has found some kind of. But he clearly can see her halo thing. That's like a. It's kind of weird. He isn't actually as crazy. Like he's crazy. I mean, but but he when he first explained that, oh, I see your halo. It's like, is he you being insane, or is it actually a halo? They actually can see it, right? Which might mean that she has some kind of power, right? Because 
Mm. She might be a clone too, I don't know. She looks so similar to the kids, right? But uh, it might be interesting if Swindler has some kind of secret backstory here. Because why else would she have the halo that he can see? Like, why would he actually like that halo that only he can spot it, right? Um, I mean, it's an actual thing, so... It looks like some kind of red, uh, some blood, maybe some some serum. And there was some kind of, was on her side, it looks like kind of red uh, syringe shit maybe. I don't know, like some, some kind of quick scene there, but she clearly finds something weird. Maybe how, maybe this is how they create the uh, execution or something. Okay, what's she gonna do now then? What was she open for? This is like a really weird place here. It might be her clones, his clones. I don't know, I just feel like he's gonna have... <laughs> Go figure. Okay, it's the weapons. Nice. Hey, Swindler, she's the best! Swindler keeps killing everyone. Okay, so they have all of their weapons, I guess. Whoa. Man, this guy's lost two legs and one arm now. He... How is he so goddamn strong? How is he incredibly injured? He's so incredibly injured. He has like one functional limb left. Yeah, how does this see? Whoa. Did someone get his arm? Did she get his arm? Maybe she got him finally. Yeah, like maybe Nissan. Motoshan, how she got him. Man, Swindler is ranking the kills. She's killing everyone. Swindler is getting all of them. He's fi is he finally dying after like losing all his body parts? Oh yeah, I can't see it anymore. Poor guy. Uh, that was very red. That was very red. But like, where is she? Because she found weapons and... This is like a very special place she found there. All the execution and weapons and that. Probably that place maybe when she had all those the numbers or something. When she had all those... Uh, Yeah, they're back to being their cute family. Is he gonna survive this somehow? <laughs> Is he lying here now? Like, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, they're of course in some kind of super heli shopper. Too late for that. You would imagine that those two guys would be helping you. I mean, the whole, but it seems like he killed like every super cop. Like he, like he's the cop truck just killed them all, right? Like there's no cops left anymore. No one's gonna stop them anymore for protecting from Nakodama. He just, yeah, massacred everything. He is a little silly though. He managed to do it. It is, it is very silly. But like, the guy has, right? He has uh, one functional leg. Another one is kind of hanging there. And he's injured generally, and there's a lot of blood loose. And he enters, and he kills like I don't know, fifty super cops alone. But they previously we've seen them all be able to fight like you know the whole equally strong as brother and so on. Yeah, like we've seen them fight pretty well. That guy. Maybe maybe he was maybe he was the best, I guess. Maybe he was the best. Maybe he was like the, the greatest they had or something. Um But it definitely it is a bit like interesting that he could just defeat everyone so easily himself. <laughs> But that man, the doctor said, <laughs> she's like, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm actually a man and I'm this old. No, but she was like kind of yonky with him. Like, I mean, she might, he might have been a man, maybe not, who knows. But that was kind of the what made extra thing good. She was like, maybe I'm not even a woman. Do, do you, are you sure? Like, like she was like saying that, you know, I used to be a man. She was like, are you sure that I'm not a woman or not? Like, maybe I have both genders, who knows? Like, maybe I can change my gender. Like, it was kind of interesting. Yeah, like, she's like, oh, I can just, you know, replace and put on a... I would imagine she's like, oh, here's like, you know, a member and puts it on, right? Yeah, foot style. I, I, can, I, I, can, I can imagine her being a footer, right? I have both genders, yeah. It's the preview. Hoodlum is still. Hoodlum and Doctor, yeah, they're still doing something, right? Of course, she's back with. Okay, so Doctor's gonna fight her, I guess. I mean, sure do you. Babel. Hmm. Um. Just. Uh, whatever. Uh, whatever, whatever. Uh, whatever, whatever. 
Which made her point to say, no, but I, I was never interested because she kind of said it in a way that was like, maybe I'm a man, who knows, you know, right? And, but I could imagine giving how, you know, cutthroat can so easily survive, so she could use his legs, so she could probably just be like, you know, shop off right, take a member, put it on herself right, and be like, oh, I'm a footman now. I, I she feels like a character she could use to, you know, become a footman now if she wanted, right? Or vice versa and so on. So she has certainly tried out to be both generalists. I think that's one thing you can probably guess with Doctor. She has probably been a Futunari, or maybe is. But he probably he, he knows a Futunari, but you know, he, she might have been a Futunari earlier, and maybe she could just replace him when she wants to, and so on. That feels like, that feels like her, t- her thing, right? She could be just like, sometimes I have a pee pee. So I have a pee pee. Yeah, I feel like she's that kind of character, where she can just be like, kind of gender swapping every night. Yeah, yeah, very, very gender fluid, but I think so. But it was kind of, kind of fun there, too. It was like, you know, are you sure I'm a woman? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that, yeah. I was like, what? And but yeah, but yeah, I have never thought about it before. But she says like, oh, of course, she's gender fluid. Like she's, of course, she's super gender fluid right? because she can replace body parts and so on. She can do these operations. So of course, she can change her gender whenever she wants to. Like that, that just makes sense with her with her skill set. She can, of course, she can, you know, adapt, change her gender, right, depending on the situation, right. So on. absolutely. So. Uh, so that was one thing, and then also, of course, as she said, she's like, you know, and um, you t- how old do you think I am? I'm actually, <laughs> I'm actually way older. I was like, yeah, why, why wouldn't she be way older, right? Because she, she, she can obviously take someone's body parts, right? Someone's organs, hearts, or whatever, and replace them if she's getting too old. So of course she's like, of course she's probably super old as well, right? She's probably like a 500-year-old character. But it, it, but one thing as I mentioned during the reaction, the interesting with that is that you know, there is some weird uh, civil war backstory. It's no other countries. The moon is destroyed. Right? There's all this weird stuff, right, in the backstory, which may may or may not be explained. But let's say, you know, she might actually know the truth, given that she might be super old, right? She might be 700 years old. Maybe she has to live through that civil war or something, and then you know, keep kept her safe alive by, I guess, stealing people's body parts, you know, replacing her body parts, and in that in that sense, she she stayed young, right? So. Um, she might know that truth, truth, right? She might know this true thing. Otherwise, it has sort of like, I guess, dark side or Thanos. Like, I have to find a death equation and like uh, control death or something. Uh, that was very, uh, very dark side more. But somewhat him too, but especially dark side of DC Comics. Yeah, like, trying to find a life, life, death, equal equation thing. So I love that. <laughs> so this is very crazy. Uh, but that, that made it funny too. He's sitting there, Hoodlum is like, oh. Are you smash crazy? Maybe she's too crazy for the, you know, for being it worthwhile, right? And she's like, oh, I want to kill everyone. He's like, oh, oh, she's really crazy. <laughs> like, God damn it! <laughs> Why did I do this? Uh, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. Um, but what more can you say, right? Uh, that was funny. Uh, they emptied this weird place. I guess in that place where we seen earlier with all the the numbers, like everyone has died. There could be that place found. But I, I do find the whole thing he can see, you know, Swindler's halo thing. I think I find that really interesting. Like, because first when he says it, like, he's like, he's crazy. Kutron is crazy, right? You, you think he's using a madman, right? See, oh, I see the red, you know, I see the red on you. Like, uh, he, he's, he's, he's kind of crazy, right? It's just insane. But then it's like he actually can track her by, you know, oh, I see the red head over there. And I can find her in the bathroom. Go into the bathroom would be stupid because he could, of course, just find her in the bathroom. So, yeah, because either it's like his power, but it doesn't seem more likely that something with Swindler, right? I was waiting for some kind of reveal about Swindler, and now it's like, well, Swindler has like a magical red halo for some reason he can see. So that's, that's kind of strange, to, like, why, why does she have that thing? I think that's interesting. Um, I'll say it again here, if it's like she... I mean, I know it's the art style, of course, generally, but she's obviously very, very similar to the sibling style. She's very, especially the emotional son that she's now bonding with, but they're very, very similar in appearance. She could be the older sister, right? Like, you know, because they look so similar to her, almost on that. Maybe she's some other clone or something, who knows? But if it's weird, he could actually literally again see her, you know, see her redness, see her redness. That to me is, uh, is quite strange, yeah. Uh, what is, what, what's up with that, right? What's up with that? Um, and then I guess next episode you're gonna you know meet up with uh, Doctor and Hoodlum and so on and all the people. But man, it is a silly though how Castro I it is silly how he managed to just defeat everyone alone with like, like one leg. <laughs> one leg, blood loose, exhausted, being a bit he's kinda of slowly walked up to that place like 
And you can see him on distance, and he's like, oh, I stacked his cake here. And like, how did he do this shit? <laughs> and then like, when he loses to her, too. Yeah, it's a little scene, right? Then he loses to her, and he, she defeats him. But all these cops guys couldn't do it. He's like, oh, no, he was just so into it, so... Well, that, that's the yeah, see you guys later tonight with uh, course, uh, When They Cry. That also might be a lot more red stuff happening there, right?